Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about intercultural dating and um, yeah, the problems that comes with it. Uh, it all started a few months ago where I met a guy who was really, really nice, really handsome and funny and made me so happy. Uh, we saw each other three times and then he said, I'm a very serious guy and I need to talk to my dad before we are uh, going official. And I was like, whoa, dude, that's a lot to say on the third date. Um, but I had heard about it before, so I was like, okay, well, if there's nothing else to do. And I also wanted to know what he meant by being only friends uh, until he had talked to his dad. Because he said he couldn't talk to him before he went home for Chinese New Year, which was like two months afterwards. And uh, he was like, well, you can be friends, like friends can do whatever they want to do. And I was like, okay, well then I don't really care, really. Uh, so we had fun for, I don't know, six, uh, six weeks or so. But it was in my head all the time and it kind of ruined some of it. And when I was at home in Denmark, I was thinking a lot about it. And he kind of told me also, like just that his family was really strict, traditional family. Um, his parents, his dad had decided some really big things for him before. Life things, what is that called, like life uh, choices. And his uh, cousin, also was dating somebody before for years and then because her mom his my my um, the guys that's like his aunt yeah she didn't like that guy so they were forced to break up and then she had to marry somebody else and i was just like oh that doesn't really make me more calm about this whole situation but I also thought that this was just a really good guy and he was being honest with me and you know it was kind of my own choice to stay um, so yeah I went back during the went back for Christmas and I didn't really hear much from him because he was really really busy with his school but during the time we were dating he like bought me presents twice and I was just like Ah, just a really, really good guy. So happy to be with him. But yeah, in the end, it didn't work out because I just kept thinking and talking to my friends as well about this, especially like people who dated intercultural as well. And, um, you know, one of my Chinese girlfriends who dates a Chinese, uh, a Danish guy, she said to me, you know, if he can't choose himself now, then what about later and it made totally sense for me so that's why I thought I wanted to share it with you guys because I don't know I want to know if you guys also bump into these problems and I know that a lot of you guys are Chinese either like Chinese heritage um, growing up abroad or you grew up in China um, have you bumped into this problem before and like do you have strict family members like parents who tell you what to do and not to do and how can you accept it um i know that you grow up with it so you might be more used to it for me when i i broke it off because i didn't want to waste my time i knew that it was only going to end anyways like a few weeks later because he said that if his dad said no then we wouldn't be able to move on you know together and I just thought that you're really happy right now and you're with somebody who's really good to you and then you you let your dad decide if you guys should be together or not but daddy doesn't even know the person you're with aren't you gonna regret that later if you get married to somebody who he approved of but you actually might not like that much or maybe you like it at the beginning but then you realize oh it was just because it was more convenient i don't know well like he did use his parents as an excuse but i also talked to again friends about it and they said you know maybe it's also because you just didn't fit into his plan like his parents told him what to do with his life and 
you didn't fit in. Like he said to me, oh, my parents won't accept you because you don't have a, uh, a Chinese passport. And I'm like, well, <laughs> how can you be surprised? Well, when you met me, why would you keep, you know, st staying seeing me then if, if you already knew that they wouldn't accept it? <laughs> um, yeah, and he also said that, you know, my life is unstable. And I thought my life was really stable because I'm staying here full time and I have a, an income and, you know, I stay in the same place. Sorry. <laughs> and I... <laughs> I'm always really proud that I'm independent and that I travel. I traveled many places alone. And I've seen a lot of things and I feel like that's how you grow. And I know it's a Western way of thinking and it's different from the Chinese, but you know, it was just that it sounded that, that it sounded like it was a bad thing in this case. And I've never thought about it as being a bad thing. But he was like, Oh, you know, later on if we have a family, like my parents would never accept that you just travel alone. And I kinda had a feeling that that was you know, he used his parents as an excuse, but he definitely thought the same. So yeah, it was not meant to be, but still kind of annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, so I tried to, I broke it off like two weeks ago. I don't know, I just, I really want to share this with you guys because that's another part of life here. Um, it's just so weird that you meet somebody and you click and you have like personalities just match, but then because of culture or like family traditions, it doesn't work out. I'm just like, I don't know. It's just, I see China as a very modern and open country. And then when these things happen, I'm just like, how can this happen? Like, these people are just like me, but they're not. Some people are not. Like, there are so many different kinds of Chinese people. And, like, he does come from a more uh, traditional area of China, which is not as open-minded as uh, other places. So I definitely know that I shouldn't go for that province. <laughs> no, I know. I can't judge like that. But it's just, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, just me rambling here. Um, this is uh, one of the problems of intercultural dating. And there are a lot of things you have to consider before dating interculturally. I don't believe that it's a good idea to go in blind. Um, I know love makes you blind. <laughs> But being in love makes you blind and marriage makes you seeing again. <laughs> I don't know, that's my old teacher, high school teacher told me, or told us that. Let me know about your own experience. Please let me know if you have tried anything like this or, you know, how you look at this. I would really love to know. Let's have a discussion below and I'm fine. I am fine. I am fine. I'm just a very emotional person. That's. I cry very easily. So I'm sorry for that. I am fine. <sighs> smile to the world and the world will smile again. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go back to my room and have a rest now. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm excited to have this discussion, this debate with you and uh, our conversation. And I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and Bye bye. Thank you.